Tie Shadow. The uh, Tie Shadow program uh, is similar to something that was developed by Adobe called, uh, I believe it's Adobe Shadow. But essentially what this uh, app allows us to do is to, uh, to quickly prototype uh, mobile apps um, by uh, writing code and then immediately seeing the results of our code within a simulator or a device. So um, I'm just going to get into it and just show you the program and how to get it executed. So I'm going to start off with running the simulator um, on the TI or the TI Shadow program. Um, and uh, there is a separate uh, podcast that shows how to, uh, how, how to download and install uh, this particular program. Uh, when I start up the simulator, I get um, a program that essentially shows um, this window here, um, gives me a, uh, a, uh, a text field for entering um, the name of uh, the port or the, the, uh, uh, the host to actually connect to. Um, I do need to start up a server as part of this. Um, so this is the Thai Shadow server. So I'm going to type in Thai Shadow server. And that starts up my web server, a local web server that uh, we're going to be running everything off of. And then finally, I need to uh, connect to that. So I'm just going to type in localhost 3000. And this brings up my interface that I can use for uh, for prototyping my programs. Okay, so uh, I'm going to connect to this local computer. So click on connect. Uh, I get an alert saying that um, I've connected. You'll see that the device shows up here. I can actually bring up this same program under Android, um, although it does run kind of slow. But let me go ahead and just start it up and see. Eventually it may come up. Let's see. Or maybe I have... Okay, there's an issue with uh, the Android. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with the iPhone simulator. Um, okay, so now with this program what I can do is start typing in commands and in this window here uh, the console will show me messages that um, are relevant for uh, my session. I'm going to start off with creating a window. Create window background color. This is going to look really ugly, but it's okay. And then label. Create label text hello world actually I want that I want this text to be white so color and then I need to add <clears throat> the label add the label and I need to show the window so open Okay, and there it is. And uh, so the nice thing here is that we can start to play around with uh, a number of different features. Um, I don't like red. It's too ugly. I'll change that to white. Oh, but now I can't see my text, and so I'm going to change that to black. And, oh, I want to change the layout uh, to uh, vertical. Uh, I need a comma here. And, uh, and I want to add more features. So, label, label 2. is hi there oh I didn't add that 
to my window. And I want to change the layout to horizontal. So anyway, as you can see uh, with this um, with this program, we can quickly uh, try different things out, um, see their effects within the simulator. Uh, we can um, you know do a number of things like view how uh, different uh, algorithms we might use affect uh, what happened on the screen. Um, we can try out uh, new things that we haven't tried before. So, for instance, maybe I've never created a button before, and so now I want to create a button. Um, create button, and I'm not sure if it's title or text. I want to try title. Push, and I'm going to add that. So now I can just you know try out different uh, different things with uh, my interface before I build them into the actual program. So anyway, this is uh, the Thai Shadow program. Um, I would uh, suggest that you try using it. Um, look at the the next podcast that shows how to actually install this program, um, and then um, play around with this a little bit. So anyway, that concludes this lesson.